today we are going to answer a viewer's question as to whether or not she should be switching majors. This is a great topic for those of you in the second, third year, and maybe fourth year who's a little bit unsure as to your direction with regards to college, with regards to your career, and you're wondering if you should switch your major. Let's check it out right now. Hey guys, it's Brian back at you with another video where my goal is to mentor you to rewarding career and to help you create a life you're proud of. And in that endeavor, don't forget to click the card above to fire me your questions. You can send me your questions on career development, professional development, or even personal development. I am here to help you guys, whether you're a young adult, new adult, or someone who's just a little bit lost and needs some help right now. I will answer these questions. It's free. I'll do it on a future YouTube video. Guys, if you want immediate assistance or if you want immediate mentoring, please check out my products and services. Okay, so let's talk about this viewer's email. It comes from someone by the name of Brianna. Thank you so much for your question. Let's dive into her email right now. I'm currently a sophomore in college and my major is health science, but I haven't declared a major yet. Right now, I'm taking chemistry and biology and I'm struggling in both classes. It's really difficult taking both of these classes at the same time. I find myself stressed out and unsure of what career path is best for me. I'm realizing that maybe sciences are my strengths and I'm not that interested in the material. I'm a good student, maybe just not in the sciences. I'm really confused on what to do. I plan to go to PA school, which I'm assuming is a physician's assistant school, but I feel like if my science GPA isn't the best, I won't get into a PA school and struggling with science is not going to help. I feel like I wasted my time this semester, but also not because it's good that I know that maybe the health science major is not for me. I'm a good student, so getting not that good of grades in these two classes is very frustrating. And I do not want bad grades in my transcript. I want to switch my major, but I am unsure what to switch to. I am interested in international business, marketing, criminal justice, and psychology. I am also minoring in Italian because I took it in high school and it's something I miss taking as a class. Overall, I just don't know what to do. For example, if I should switch to business and then not like it for some reason. Please let me know your thoughts. Thank you. Got a lot of ground to cover. So the first point I want to talk about is the fact that she's taking two science classes in one semester and she's finding it very overwhelming. I will say that I totally understand you. I come from a science degree and I know myself as well as all the other students uh, that I graduated with had the same problems. You're having a whole bunch of high intensity, lots of content, lots of information classes being thrown at you um, at the same time. On top of that, you're taking a lab classes with it and it really eats into your daily schedule. Um, and this is something that I would find that other majors don't have to struggle with, with the exception of something like engineering. But when you're looking at arts classes or arts majors, they don't have that lab course. It just puts in four hours into your week on top of all the assignments from that lab course, plus the regular lectures from your biology classes. It's not easy, I get it. And what I'd recommend is that you try to dilute your classes a little bit more. You don't need to take both science classes at the same time. Dilute that workload that semester with some electives. Dilute it with some arts classes, with something else, just to break that monotony and just to give yourself some breathing room. Alternatively, you can look at some science courses that don't have labs. And what that does is just alleviates four hours of your week. And that really helps give you that breathing room that you need. But Brianna, I get it. By the time you see this video, chances are you've already taken these two courses and your grades have suffered as a result. It's normal. Low grades in the sciences, especially in their first couple years, is very, very normal amongst the entire class. I would not let that bog you down. Really, what you want to see is that by the third, fourth year, that's where you see your grades really go up. Now, if you're finding that these classes are really knocking you down, that's where you want to look at your electives to see how you can find the right electives to boost your overall GPA up. But at the same time, I see that you say that you're not interested in the material. Well, there's two parts to this. Number one is, are you not interested in the material because you genuinely aren't interested? Like poking your eye out with your pencil every lecture? Are you de-energized? Are you just really struggling with it? Or are you struggling with it because you're getting low grades? Do you find the material actually bearable, um, but the fact that you're getting not A's or not B's, that's really what's discouraging you. And I think you really wanna find out 
what's behind your feelings that are dragging you down and really putting this negative outlook across your entire career. Now, Brianna, I noticed that you mentioned that you want to go to PA school, which I think is awesome. And this is something that I noticed from your email is that you actually have a career vision. You know what you want to do as soon as you graduated. And I think that puts you ahead of a lot of the other people that you went to school with or going to school with. And the idea there is that you know what the end game is and it really helps drive everything else. That said, I see that you're struggling with it because you're now getting discouraged, you're seeing the low grades and you're wondering, is PA school a reality? And if not, are you doing the right thing? But the important point I want you to take away is that it's so crucial for you to have that end game, to know what you wanna do after you graduate. So the key takeaway here is the importance of having an end game, right? Think of the end in mind. And after that, once you figure that out, everything else is easy. You just need to know what the steps are to get there. So when you're talking about the majors that you like, international business, marketing, criminal justice, psychology, those are all fine. Those are all good majors, but really the question that you should be asking yourself is what career do you want? It's not gonna be going into PA school, what is it gonna be, right? So that's where you wanna focus your attention now, not what major to get in order to really build a good and nice transcript with a whole bunch of A's, that's not the point. The point is what career do you wanna get into, right? That's where your focus should be. So just like all my other videos, you wanna check those out if you haven't, but more importantly, think about the career end game. What other careers are out there? What industries you wanna get into? If it's not gonna be PA school, what is it gonna be? The other point I wanna bring up is the fact that the science major is not an easy major at all. It is one of the more difficult ones and it's not for everybody. But the fact that you picked it, kudos on you, and the fact that you got in, kudos on you times two. So the point being is that it's not easy. There's a lot of content that you have to absorb and memorize and apply. There's also the lab classes that you have to take in. There's a lot to balance schedule wise. It's a very intensive major. If you can get through this, you're going to be above a lot of other people that have graduated in other majors. Let's say you graduated with your science degree and you feel that your passion's not there and you want to get into international business or you want to get into marketing. You can still do that, but this time you have a very strong science foundation that you can build into that marketing degree or into that business degree. Whereas someone who graduated in marketing and they get stuck or the competition is just too high, they can't distinguish themselves, they can't find their niche. And what they have to do is they have to differentiate themselves somewhere else. For them to do that by going into the sciences, maybe they want to bring that marketing pizzazz that they have in one field and bring it into the science industry, there's no way they can do that because they don't have the science degree. And for them to go back to school to do the sciences is just so much harder. It's easier to go from the science degree over to business, let's say, or over to psychology, rather than doing a psych degree and then moving over to the sciences. So for those of you that are watching that are in your third year or fourth year and you're so close to graduating and you're thinking about switching just because it's getting really, really tough and you're really questioning what career options are out there for you and you're, you're doubting yourself, I still recommend that you finish your degree and then Try your, your best to get a job and if that doesn't work and you really have to go back to school and you really want to major in something completely different, you can. But this time you've accomplished something that a lot of people cannot do and you can apply all the stuff that you learn with your science degree over to your new field of study. Okay, final thing I noticed, Brianna, is that you talked about how you went to do Italian classes. And along this point, Brianna, I know you mentioned that you're minoring in Italian and you talk about how it was fun for you to do that back in high school and that's why you're doing it. Again, that's great, but you're missing the point of school. The whole point of school is to get to where you want to go, right? You want to think of the end of mind. You want to know what the career industry that you want to get into. And then you find the major for that that you need to get into that career. When you're taking Italian because you find it fun, your purpose isn't there. Your purpose isn't big enough. And there's nothing wrong with minoring in Italian, but it's got to be congruent with where you want to go. Now, if it's about just fulfillment and the fact that you enjoy it, that's great. But the thing is, you can do that anytime. You can do that after you graduate. You can do that five years from now. You can do that six months from now. You don't have to do it in university. Overall, so overall, Brianna, the answer to your email touches on some big themes here. Number one, if you've got a lot of intense courses coming together all in one semester, try to dilute that a little bit. Try to take advantage of your electives. Try to move those intensive courses into another semester. 
try to dilute it that way. The other big theme here is you shouldn't let your transcript or your comfort level determine what major you should be taking. Instead, your major should be determined by the career that you want to get into or the industry you want to get into. Yes, it's uncomfortable getting C's or even maybe failing, but that is the life of a student and that is life outside of college. So that's normal. And the fact that you have a transcript that isn't perfect will not hurt you. What actually hurts you is poor character, poor drive, low grit, those types of things. That's really what holds you back in life. And I genuinely believe that if you can maintain a high level of character, a high level of work ethic and performance, you are going to do fine regardless of the major you choose. And the last key theme or takeaway that I want you to have is to realize that the sciences is one of those very difficult majors that if you do get that degree, will separate you from the pack. And if you decide to go into something else later, it's a lot easier to do that with a science degree and then moving over to something else. Else, whereas going from a philosophy or psych major and trying to get into the sciences is a lot more difficult. Your life is going to constantly be in flux. It is normal. The sciences might not be for you, but at the same time, it's good to keep your options open. So something to consider as you evaluate what you want to do. But the main driver of all of this is your end game. Where do you want to go? And if you don't know what that might be, you got to start networking. You got to start reaching out to companies, industries having coffee time with people that work in that industry and if this is all new to you or if this scares you a little bit definitely download my book the unfair advantage get a head start now this is a book that i usually send out to people that are in their third or fourth year or even after that where they're having a hard time finding a job but it's good to have this perspective today and this will help drive you to help determine where you want to go in terms of what is that end goal in mind and then you can work backwards from there so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed today's video please feel free to hit that like button or even share this video it'd be greatly appreciated as always, you know where to reach me, 101mentoring.com. Send me your questions to me that way and I'll answer them in a future video. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.